Welcome to another Macintosh Monday. I'm Mike and I'm here to talk about the Apple news. One thing we confirmed recently is that Apple will eventually switch to USB-C due to the EU regulation. But now we got some new rumors about the iPhone 15 as it relates to USB-C. So this rumor is from Ming Chi Kuo. He is saying that all the iPhone 15 models will get USB-C. However, only the Pro models will have faster data transfer speeds. Basically, the regular iPhone 15 will still be limited to lightning speed, which is basically USB 2.0, and the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will be capable of transferring at much higher speeds. This makes sense, especially in the realm of Apple kind of limiting the new features to the higher end phones. There is an argument to be made as far as limiting this to the Pro phones, because if you're buying a Pro phone, you're more likely to be doing some serious video stuff or you'll just like the Pro phone better. Also, I feel at this point, the demographic for a regular iPhone user is probably not gonna do much as far as transferring data to a PC over cable anyway. So yes, there is an argument to be made for it, but at the same time, I feel like Apple should just make the transfer speeds the same across all the phones if they are gonna switch them over to USB-C. But we'll have to see, that's just what the rumor is right now. But based off of what Apple does with their lineup currently, limiting certain features to the Pro phones, I could see this being a thing. You know what else is a thing? The new Apple TVs, they did officially drop and they bumped up the storage capacity on the higher model to 128, but, Apparently there was an issue with the higher end model where if you saved more than 64 gigs, you ran into errors. Well, now Apple has officially fixed that issue. If you have one of the new 128 gig Apple TVs, maybe you haven't used that much space yet, but definitely be on the lookout for that update. It's kind of a weird bug and that would kind of suck, especially if you're buying that just for the storage and you get it if you only got 64 gigs out of the box. But luckily, Apple is usually pretty good about fixing stuff. So if you are experiencing that issue, make sure to go to your settings and check for software updates and get the latest update for your Apple TV. You know what hasn't been updated in a long time? Apple's first party MagSafe charger. That's what we're talking about in our final story. If you think about it, they released the MagSafe Puck, which I have, and they released the travel charger, which I also have. But as far as first party chargers, they really haven't done that much else with MagSafe. They also had the portable battery, of course. There's been some really good Belkin accessories and other third parties. But from Apple directly, we haven't seen any new innovations with the charger. So it's rumored that there was a charger that was close to coming out called the Apple Magic Charger. And it got to the point where they actually had some pre-production units and someone on Twitter actually got their hands on one. This was gonna be a charger, kind of like the Apple Watch charger built into the MagSafe travel charger. The Apple Watch side, you could either push it up or lay it down. So it was gonna do that, but of course for the phone. Apparently the reason they scrapped it was because if it was standing up, you could only use it in a landscape. It wasn't tall enough to allow the iPhone to have enough room to be used in portrait mode. So that's why they ended up scrapping it at the last minute, which is kind of weird if you think about it. That's something that you would think that they would have considered early in development. When you look at the pictures of the prototype, yeah, it's pretty low to the desk or whatever surface it would be on. So there would really be no way to use that in portrait mode. So that's apparently why it was scrapped. I am interested to see if Apple does a new MagSafe charger, especially at this point where you have the AirPods and the phones that do MagSafe, a triple charger, from Apple would be nice that does the watch, AirPods, and the phone. I'll be interested to see what's coming down the line, but apparently it's not gonna be this magic charger. And that's gonna do it for the news today, but let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think Apple will limit the transfer speeds of USB-C on the base iPhone 15 models? Do you have the new 128 gig Apple TV and did you run into any storage issues? And do you think that Apple should have still released this charger even though it can only be used in landscape standing up? Again, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna get out of here. If you're in the US, have a great holiday this week. Peace out.